Hello everyone and welcome to Susie Jeebos. Um, for this week's first day I wanted to focus on Back to the Future Day, which I have done in my previous video. Um, if you click around here, you can see me kind of talk in a rambled, <laughs> garbled sort of way to my younger self in response to not only Throwback Thursday but the fact I used to watch Back to the Future as a child. So it kind of kind of mixed. So for this first day I want to continue on that thread of thought but in the sense of technological innovation. So um, a lot of articles have kind of been reworked or kind of sprung up in light of Back to the Future Day and yeah it's, it's important to note that the day was not just you know oh it's a cult film this is where uh, Marty and Doc go to from 1985, but it's also a nice way of bookmarking, or not bookmarking, but marking um, what we thought was the future, and we always love doing this. And science fiction has paved the way for so many technological advances, I mean even the cell phone itself was a model of the Star Trek communicator. We have automated sliding doors, automated? Automatic sliding doors from um, H.G. Wells, um, the sleeper weights. And yeah, I mean, there's been so many things. I mean, we have a cloak of invisibility, which was the staple of fantasy novels, including, of course, Harry Potter, which is being developed by the University of Rochester. And yeah, we have a working prototype of a hoverboard. We have flat screen technology. Yeah, I mean, so many things that we take for granted were, you know, the staple of science fiction. And so for my poem, this week I am going to read out a short little thing I've written in response to thinking outside the box so that our presence can be written. As, as Doc Brown famously says, you know, our future hasn't been written yet, but I believe that whatever we do in the present will be reflected into the future, so it'll be projecting outwards. So we have to focus on ourselves now. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much and there's a fly buzzing around, so let's get to the poem. So this is called Projections. Past and futures from present projections, mediations of three seconds continue to dress the backdrop, the back up of sense data, the alma mater of fate. Our future hasn't been written yet, they say, but it's being written. Each letter following the latter as each present being presented in type, setting stones for future hallways, causeways when time stays, walls written like a ball game, fit frames, firmly within our minds. There is no time for a rerun, but space for us that we now run and create in, honing images of speculation that spectates, waiting for edges of the present to alleviate anxieties, gift wrap our graces for excited faces, parties without higher fees, face up to uncertain futures, acting as sutures for the voids we wanted to conquer in our minds. Pulling us asunder between past and future, waiting for the frames to line up, desires to timelines, fight or flight with a moral high ground of hindsight. We have to build these now. Whether they're seeds in minds or lines on screens, there should be no baton passes for broken dreams, burns for next generations to need in chips for shoulders. Science fiction reflecting present anxieties to make waves and grave our marks for improvements, uses for prudence, opportunities for all to grow, seeds to sow regardless of our replications for the generations to come. Past and futures. From present projections, mediations of three seconds continue to address the backdrop, the backup of sense data, the alma mater of fate. Our future hasn't been written yet, they say but it's being written, letter after letter. Thank you very much. Um, the whole kind of, our future hasn't been written yet, kind of, it's a hark back <laughs> to Back to the Future, where Doc Brown often likes to say that, our future hasn't been written yet. So, um, hopefully you enjoy that, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and I also appreciate any comments or suggestions you may have on any videos you would like to see and so on and um, yeah if you'd like to subscribe that would be really cool I love to see and um, hear more suggestions as time goes on uh, you can subscribe down there 
I think. I, I kind of get this wrong every time, but I think it's around here. So, signing off, and bye! Thank you very much for watching!